Hi guys, Chris here with the Comic Font, and as you can see, I got a new background thing set up. All I did was just turn the whole thing 90 degrees this way, so instead of seeing a wall with a window, which is over there, you get to see a wall with a mirror right over there. Right now, like uh, my shooting schedule is going to be a bit sporadic. I'm going to just drop a few things here and there, just drop a few notes here. At work, where I work, Second and Charles, uh, we deal with new and used comic books. Kind of a dream job for me. It's... And they got me tasked to like uh, organize the comic books, the used comics, the back issue comics, stuff like that, uh, more alphabetical than just catch as catch can. And so I'm gonna be busy doing that. So I'm again, it's gonna be kind of a short hop here and there, but I'm gonna do what I can to keep y'all updated on what's going on in my life. All right, especially when it involves my favorite thing, the comic books. I just saw the preview for the new Titan show coming up on the new DC streaming channel. And I gotta say, um, I am. I want to give it a chance. I really do. I'm a big fan of Teen Titans. A big fan of the characters involved. I'm a big fan of Titans altogether. I want to give this as much of a chance as you get, as I can. It looks like it's going to delve between a relationship between like uh, Raven and Dick Grayson. It's the same relationship between Dick Grayson and Batman. Where I think like uh, this will set it up so that way Dick will be mentoring Raven to use her powers properly and all, and go from there. And we're seeing a later version of Robin. It looks like a very cynical one, and all that. I think he's like uh, taking up the mantle of the Dark Knight more seriously than we think. So, especially when you drop an F bomb in the uh, preview, yeah, it makes me serious and all that. Saw the like uh, preview shots of Beast Boy and Starfire. I'm not. I'm not unhappy, to be telling you, to be honest with you. I'm not unhappy with it. I want to like make. I want this to work properly and all that. I saw the first pictures, all that people leaking. People, like, oh no, I don't want that. I don't know. Give it a chance. That's all I'm saying. Just give it a freaking chance. That's all I gotta ask. All right. The thing about the fanboys, you know, they love to like go off and say we gotta do it like this. It's gotta be done this specific way all the time. No. Unless you got an invite to go into the uh, script writing thing and just go in there and say, no, this is what has got to be done. And unfortunately, we don't. We're not the creators here. We're not the like, uh, the ultimate arbiters here. I mean, we can choose not to watch it, and that's about as good as it gets. But I choose to watch it. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to give it a chance. I want to give it the best chance possible. Like I said, big fan of Titans. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of Starfire. So... I want to see this. I want to see it play out and hopefully be for the best. And speaking of the new Titan show coming up, found this the other day while going through my combo collection. Tales of the New Teen Titans number 44. It's got a little backstory of uh, Death the Terminator on that one. First appearance of Nightwing. Dick Grayson as Nightwing, of course. And the first appearance of Joe Wilson, a.k.a. Jericho, one of the sons of uh, Slade Wilson. That particular issue was part of the story arc involving the Judas Contract, a critical uh, story arc involving Tara Markov and Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Tara and Deathstroke, respectively. It showed how Tara ultimately betrayed the Titans and basically set them up to be captured by Deathstroke to fulfill a contract to the Hive set up by his other son, Grant Wilson. It's a critical series. It showed like uh, the Titans coming together and facing up a little bit of adversity when it came to a former teammate going at them like that. Uh, betrayal is always going to be a rough uh, subject matter to deal with, but luckily Wolfman Perez pulled it off beautifully. It was, it's a great story arc, all the like uh, events leading up to it, and plus it gave us Nightwing. So that's a total win right there. Now the classic team of uh, the Teen Titans showed up, uh, Starfire, Cyborg, Raven, and Beast Boy, in the No Justice uh, miniseries that was released a few months ago and setting up for the new Justice League team books, uh, Justice League Odyssey, which features uh, Cyborg and Starfire. And then you got Justice League Dark, they reforming that again with Wonder Woman as the lead. And then you got the, the regular Justice League of America bringing back one of my favorite characters, Hawk Girl. So that's going to be kind of fun and a half. Cannot wait to start delving into those comics, I'll tell you that. And this past Wednesday, new comic book day, the hottest title out, in my opinion, The Life of Captain Marvel. Finally, the origin of Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel is being told right now, and I'm loving it. Just out just in time for the new movie coming out next year. It's the first part of a five-part miniseries, so pick yours up when you can, all right? Because it's, look, 
any Captain Marvel fan should be proud to get this one right now. It's got some great variant covers too, so if you're able to get a hold of those, you got yourself an instant classic right there. Like I said, it's a bit of a short one, so I'm kind of rambling a little bit, so I'm going to cut it off right now, and I'll be back next week with another like uh, short blurb or if anything, I can hopefully plan a full show for y'all. Again, this is Chris with the Comic Font, and like I said, every Wednesday, new comic book day. So come on into the store, and I'll be glad to help you out myself, all right? This is Chris. Y'all take care.